Hello you guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are tackling my closet in my master bedroom. It is a disaster. It has been almost a year. It was last October. So it's been almost a year since I have gone through this closet, gotten rid of things, purged everything out of there, and gotten it organized. I did like a full closet makeover in that video. I painted the inside of it. I got new baskets and organized everything, got rid of a ton of stuff, but Almost a year later, it needs to happen again. It is a mess. I need to get rid of a whole bunch of things I have not worn in a very long time and just get this closet back in order. So that is what we are going to take care of in this video today. So first, I'm going to give you guys a little overview of what, what we're working with. All right, so our closet is in our bathroom here. Got our master bedroom, bathroom, closet. We've got these built-ins here, which are really nice for these baskets. Um, although I don't know if I'm going to keep them like that. I may switch some things up. Um, right now I have all of my sweatshirts and hoodies over here. I need to go through them. We do live in Oregon um, in the Pacific Northwest. Summer only lasts for like three months and the rest of the year is pretty cool, rainy, uh, pretty mild. So I we have a lot of sweatshirts. Donnie and I both do. Um, all of his stuff is on this rack here. All of his t-shirts and then all of his sweatshirts and jackets. And then down here is all my t-shirts and some jackets mixed in there. I've got boxes of like photos in here that I still have not finished going through. I have these albums that I was putting all these old photos into. So that's a project that just still needs to get done. Um, clothes that have fallen down. Shoes. We've got hunting pack. All sorts of stuff down there. Box of clothes that I need to get rid of. Just stuff. Purses. Things everywhere. We've got some baskets up there for organization. Um, I probably won't be doing anything with this little corner here. But like this is full of bathing suits. We've got hats in both of these. Um, I think I want to hang some more hooks. Last time I did my closet makeover video, I hung these hooks here for these backpacks, which is great. But I think I'm going to hang a few more here to hang like hats and stuff on. I am going to basically pull everything out. Um, go through all my shirts. I'm probably going to pull them out, put them on my bed. There's some shirts there that need to be hung up. So they're just sitting there because those are obviously ones that we just recently wore. So I'm not going to get rid of those, but there's a lot of stuff here that I do not wear. I'm not going to be getting rid of any Adonia stuff because he's not here to tell me what he would like to get rid of, but I am going to just kind of organize and just try to get this closet back in order. So I'm going to give you guys a full overview and then we're going to get to work. But before we get into cleaning out my closet, I wanted to say thank you to Built Bar for sponsoring today's video. You guys hear me talk about Built Bars all the time because I seriously eat these every single day. So does Donnie. Um, I am not a huge breakfast person, so I do Built Bars for breakfast. Um, but they're a great like post-workout or just a snack. They taste like a legit candy bar. They do not taste like a protein bar. The macros on these are incredible. They're made with 100% real chocolate and all the flavors are so good. They have tons of different flavors on their site, which I will have linked down below for you guys. My current two favorites, actually I have like three current favorites. <laughs> the cookies and cream and then the peanut butter brownie and then also the mint brownie are our favorites. We like to keep all of our built Bars in the fridge. Um, the cherry Barcia ones taste like chocolate covered cherries, like a treat. Um, but like I said, these taste like a candy bar. If you've had protein bars before, you know, like none of them are that great. They all just have like a specific protein bar taste and I am not about that, but I love making sure that I get enough protein in every single day. It's super important to me. So insert built bars and this is my favorite. So I love to share it with you guys. Um, but I have a 10% off discount for you guys to use any time you order from the Built Bar site. You can use that code, and it's just Kristen Casper 10. So I will have it linked in the description box for you guys. Go check it out. They have tons of awesome flavors on their site, and they have other products too, not just protein bars. So check that out in the description box, and now let's get to cleaning my closet.
bright in this closet with no clothes in here and it looks huge <laughs> um, okay I left Donnie stuff up there and took out everything so I'm gonna go through all these and get rid of what I can get rid of these are the extra shelves for this I had um, taken those all out and made them like fit these baskets last time I cleaned out the closet bunch of shoes here which we have a ton of shoes out in the garage too and I literally like never wear a lot of these so I don't know what I'm gonna do I need to get rid of a lot of stuff bags purses that should be in those <laughs> but they were not and honestly why why do we have this many clothes this is outrageous this is this is a lot that's all of mine and Donnie's stuff that's hung up we also have our dressers it's just too much it's too much I don't wear all this stuff I don't wear all this stuff, so we are gonna go through everything now, and I'm just gonna start putting stuff back in here that I want to keep. Actually, you know what, real quick, I'm gonna hang up some more uh, hooks. I'm gonna do these right here for hats, I think. So I'm gonna put like two more here, and then probably a couple down low, two. I don't know. I'm gonna put some more hooks up. You know that I'ma keep it cool with you. I feel like breaking rules on the edge, looking out with no parachute. You know I'm dreaming about us too, playing around without a clue on the edge, screaming out. With us, it's all or nothing.
goes, I lose my way and I freeze. I wish you knew. Okay, I'm starting to put clothes back in here and, and well everything is hung up and it honestly doesn't look like I got rid of that much stuff but you guys look at my this pile right here my cell pile and look at how many empty hangers I have so that tells you that I got rid of some stuff for sure but anyways I'm gonna keep on keeping on here Get me out of here Another reason I know I'm getting rid of a lot of stuff is I have four empty baskets now. These were all full of stuff, so um, hats are no longer in a basket. They're hung because I put more hooks up, so that freed up some space. And then all of our beanies and gloves that were in a basket are up here. You guys watched my um, homeschool like closet clean out, <laughs> my Monica closet clean out, and you saw all of our like snow pants and stuff right there. So I added the rest of our beanies because they were in one of these with hats. So, and these are the only purses I'm keeping. Anyways, I'll give you guys a tour at the end, but I think I'm gonna use these shelves here for shoes. So that way we don't have anything on the floor. And these hunting packs, I don't know, I may hang them like right here because I have these three extra hooks. So, back to work. A million people in the crowd, but I only see your face in all the lights. And as the bass keep pounding on me, baby, I really wanna make you mine. I don't really care about love. I don't really care about happy ever afters. Something about you gives me hope. Something about you. Luckily, when I took all these shelves out almost a year ago, I saved all of the little, um, these things, these little things. I don't know what they're called, but they like go in here to hold the shelves up. So I saved all those. So I am going to get some put back in here.
Tony just got home from work and I. If you can't tell. Yeah. Filthy. <laughs> I'm still going through like clothes and trash and stuff in here. Um, but since he's here, he's gonna just real quick go through his stuff that's on a <laughs> big side of deep breath. He's gonna go through and uh, pull out anything that he wants to get rid of too. So there may be some Donny stuff on Poshmark. We shall see. Speak so loud even though I like I'm hypnotized, can't get out of here You don't know me, I just need my time Yeah But they say I have gotten my room back in order. Everything is put away. So let me show you what we got going on in here. Donnie's out cutting the grass right now. But these three baskets right here are all what I'm gonna be putting on Poshmark. So I'm gonna have it linked in the description box for you guys. And um, hopefully by the time this video goes up, I have all of this photographed and posted. <laughs> Cause it is a lot. It's a lot. Um, so that is my cell pile this is a box of pictures that i need to go through so it is going to sit right here by my desk until i get to organizing all these photos because it's been months and months of sitting in my closet so that's that and then this is my donation pile so that's all bagged up I need to put that in my car all right and then here is the closet it may not look that different but I promise you guys, I got rid of so much stuff. So let's just start. Um, you guys saw I put the shelves back in here for shoe storage, and I absolutely love it. Um, I do not have a whole lot of shoes, so this is this is all my shoes. I brought in my shoes from the garage. I got rid of a whole bunch of shoes, like sandals that I never wear. So this is literally 
all of my shoes um, right here in the closet. I have a lot of like boots and you know sandals. I have like a couple pairs of wedges. Um, mostly I have tennis shoes like Vans and Adidas. My Crocs, my Birkenstocks, and then um, Donnie has his tennis shoes and a pair of Romeos here but he likes to keep his shoes in the garage and then like the basket by the front door he has a bunch of shoes in there too so this just works out really well and then I have all of my boots down here um but this basket just has extra hangers so that is which all of our all of our hangers were full for the most part that means we got rid of a whole lot of stuff and I took a whole probably like this many hangers into the boys room and put them in their closet so they have some extras um so that's full of extra hangers and then i also have these up here that i couldn't fit in that basket that's empty so that's what we have going on in the center now and then like you guys saw a little bit ago under here i added two more hooks so i have all of my purses backpacks and bags that i am keeping right here extra wallet wristlet i have two empty hangers all of my hats are on these two hooks right here and then these are my sweatshirts here so i have my hooded sweatshirts and then my crew necks here and this literally was like jam packed before i could not do that <laughs> before so i definitely got rid of quite a few of those in my cell pile didn't do anything up here i just added those hunting packs up there i was going to hang them here but they just took up too much space so they're better off up there they only get used like you know a couple months out of the year anyways so they're up there this is like all donnie's stuff um and then this one right here has my like two overnight bags that i own and then donnie's overnight backpack so those are in there this is all my swimsuits and then that one oh that has t-shirts that has my like keepsake t-shirts and um, t-shirts I don't like wear on a regular basis and like painting t-shirts and stuff like that and then I have another like tote bag right here my little um what's it called Daisy Rose or whatever it's not a Louis Vuitton it's from Amazon um, and then we have a photo book right there and then just like stuff that we keep up in our closet so then the bottom portion here is all of my stuff that I hang so over here I've got vests and jackets all the way to the back so like my winter coats and then my like lightweight coats and stuff and then from here to here oh wait here i've got long sleeve t-shirts i'm pretty basic my whole wardrobe is literally like basic t-shirts but you know comfort is my <laughs> is my style so I've got long sleeve there and then from this white one all the way over to here are short sleeve t-shirts and then I've got dresses on the very end right here and then Donnie's hats are here which he has a whole bunch of hats that are hanging by the front door also but he's got two hooks there to hang hats and I have more of those black hook hooks so I can honestly add like another one if I needed to but then up here as you guys saw he went through pulled some things out so um, he has like work shirts right here and then t-shirts here, flannels and hickory shirts, sweatshirts, and then his jackets are back there. So that is everything. Um, no longer have piles of stuff here. So that is great. I vacuumed it all out. Everything has a home and i got rid of a ton of stuff so i'm super happy about that we are all organized and back in business but that is going to be it for this video you guys thank you so much for watching i hope this gave you a little motivation to get some cleaning or organizing done around your house one room at a time one drawer at a time one messy closet at a time but once again thank you so much be sure to hit that subscribe button if this is your first video of mine that you're watching if you hit that button then you won't miss out on any of my future videos also please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy seeing these types of videos i enjoy making them for you but that just lets me know that you guys enjoy watching them but thank you guys again and i will see you in my next video bye bye jasper say bye friends <laughs> Can't be bothered.